How's it going everybody? It's Dom here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's do it. Um, another drinking video today. Uh, there's been a few of them recently. Um, it's a comparison. I said it was coming in uh, the video where I uh, reviewed the Highland Black. And it's an Aldi special, shall we say, because it's the Highland Earl versus the Highland Black. Now, I know they're going to become probably, they're most likely going to be very different whiskies. Uh, obviously, the Scotch whiskies. Um, the, uh, I've just, as I've just seen, one's a three year. This one is a three year. This one is an eight year. That might be the only difference. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's why I'm going to give it a go today. So, like I say, um, they were both about, I've just seen the award, it's one. Scottish Whiskey Masters, the Spirits Business, got silver in 2019. You got nothing. So there you go, 1-0. Um, oh, good thumbnail. Um, but so, um, yeah, I'm going to go off smell as I normally do. And then we're going to just move on from that to obviously the actual taste. So, I'm going to put that lid there. And that lid there. Now, when I've reviewed both of these, I enjoyed them a lot. And I'm thinking this one might be the better one in terms of um, the award it won. I think this one hasn't. Oh, I suppose, like, I'm pretty certain it has, it's just not on the label. Um, but I, I, um, I, I struggled to get this one. And that, that to me says maybe it's the more popular. I could be wrong. But like I say, I enjoyed them both very much anyway. There will be no losers in this one. They're both worth it. They're both about... They're both twelve ninety nine, or this one might have been eleven ninety nine. Can't remember. They're in Aldi. Go and have a look. Either way, the cheap is chips, and they're really good. So, yeah, I'm just gonna get these poured up. I haven't smelt them, but that's fine. So obviously, straight away, you can see there is a slight. Can you see it on the camera? Yeah, there's a slight. If I move them over to light, you know I'm not being a bit biased. Slight difference in colour. The Highland Black is a bit darker. This is a bit, obviously, obviously it's going to be a bit lighter. Um, so, maybe maybe that has something to do with it. I'll just put the lid back on. So, smell. First of all, we'll go with the first one I reviewed, which I will leave all the links to in the description, which was the Highland Earl. Hmm. Still smells good. But, now I reviewed this today. But I'm still recording bulk. But I do recall this might be. Yeah, so much stronger. So much of a stronger smell. Nothing wrong with it. They both got a good smell, but that is a lot stronger. And as I said previously, it's got a real southern comfort, like feel and taste to it. Um, where but like I said, I did this versus. I'm, it weren't Grant. It was um, famous Grants. I said it was Grouse in my last in the video where I reviewed that. I do apologise. I did this versus Famous Grouse, and in my opinion, this was so much better. Um, so, but this does have a southern comfort feel to it. Um, and I just want to get on with it to be honest. I'm rambling. It's because I've done a fair few booze reviews today. <laughs> it's the Highland Dale. Oh, it gives you that, that little shudder still. Oh, it's so good. I had to need this since last review. I feel like I've got so like so much. If you can see me bar, I don't know what you're watching this on. Maybe it's a bit bigger than what it looks like to me at the moment. I do have a lot on there to like, work my way through. So that was, mmm. It's nice, it's warm. It's just a nice little taste. Um, yeah. That's all I really say to it. It's nice, it's proper nice scotch taste. But, I can already feel what's coming here. Because like I say, I've already done the review of this today. But for you, I did it two or three days ago. Yeah. Even warmer, it's, it's so much more of a kick in the throat. But in a good way. If ever there was a good way to get kicked in the throat, this is it. Um, but, they have a similar taste. So, what I'm going to do right now is, because as it stands, I'd say for a whiskey, this is the better one to go for. So it might be a pound more, it might be the same, but if you've got the choice, definitely do go for the Highland Black. The Highland Ale is also brilliant. If it's an inn, 
like I had the difficulty of that wasn't in stock. Get this, it's a lovely whiskey. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna have a quick thing because this is eight years, eight years old. This, however, is three years old. Now that, like I said, I'm not an expert on whiskey. I do this purely just because I enjoy, I enjoy drinking it and it's just fun for me to film. Uh, however, um, that could be the, the difference. They're just purely the time it's, um, it's stored for. Um, but there's nothing really on the back of them other than know your limits and don't drink pregnant. <laughs> so, oh, and it's vegan, if you're into that. Um, this one isn't. Not sh Okay, whatever. So there's your difference. This one is older and vegan. <laughs> this one is younger and not vegan, apparently. Um, but yeah, just based on the comparison, I'd say go with this one. Uh, the Highland Black is just stronger. It's warmer. It's it's nicer. But the taste is very similar to this one, the Highland L. You can definitely tell it's the same make um, based off that. And like I said in the beginning of this video, there is no loser. They are both fantastic whiskies. Just this one just pips it by a bit, purely just the the warmth of it. Um, especially in the time of year we're in now, it's nearly well, it's nearly December. We want a bit of warmth, don't we? So yeah, I hope you found this useful. I do apologise if I rambled a bit too much in this last video. It's going to be my last one I do today. Um, but yeah, I um, I definitely thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think if you've tried them both. Uh, I know the guy, uh, Michael, who recommended me this one. I'm really sorry your name's not Michael. I'm pretty sure it is, though. Um, but thank you for recommending this. Because um, it was really good. Um, I'd like to know a bit more about what you thought of it. Um, and anyone else who's tried it, um, let me know. Um, and if I persuade you to try either of them, let me know how you get on. Um, and other than that, I, I please subscribe if you, if you enjoyed what you saw, because every subscription helps me out a lot, especially in terms of what videos to do next. Um, check out the rest of my content, obviously. Um, there's plenty of it now. Um, and, yeah, leave a like, and hopefully I shall see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.